China plans to build massive space structures that could be more than a mile long and spaceships that would dwarf SpaceX's giant starship. And it plans to manufacture these giant structures piece by piece in Earth orbit. Here are the details. The South China Morning Post reports that a Chinese government research body, the National Natural Science Foundation of China, has published a five-year plan to research the best way to build massive structures in space. The plan is to build spacecraft that could be as massive as a kilometer long in space after launching the building materials into orbit. Other research targets include the building of giant space telescopes in space and giant power plants that would be added in modular fashion, creating megastructures hanging in Earth orbit. The biggest space object ever built by humans is the International Space Station. China's plan is to build space objects that would be 10 times longer than the 109 meters of the International Space Station. China's National Natural Science Foundation published the plan after researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences warned that space technology is developing rapidly, and this means that new methods need to be found to launch, deploy, and manufacture spacecraft. Analysts theorize that in-space construction could also improve spacecraft performance and reduce operating costs. China has recently been grabbing headlines by announcing big space projects that fire the imagination, but critics say these research projects are mostly aimed at creating propaganda headlines, while the resulting technology itself would be virtually impossible to deliver. The huge 30-meter-tall core of a Chinese rocket is tumbling wildly through low Earth orbit and could crash anywhere on Earth in the coming days. The same type of Chinese rocket crashed into a village in West Africa a year ago. Here are the details. On Wednesday, April 28th, China launched a massive Long March 5B rocket that carried the first module of its planned space station into orbit. The Guardian reports that the core stage of this rocket was supposed to fall back to Earth in a controlled descent, but something went wrong, and the 30-meter-tall rocket stage started skipping on Earth's atmosphere. And no one knows where it will crash once the drag of Earth's atmosphere tugs it down to the planet's surface. Much of the core will likely burn up in the atmosphere, but there is a chance that some chunks of debris will survive the re-entry and rain down on the land or ocean. This, sadly, wouldn't be the first time. In May 2020, a Long March 5B rocket slammed through the atmosphere, partially burning up during its descent. The core fell largely into the Atlantic Ocean, but some debris landed in West Africa. According to the South China Morning Post, some chunks of debris crashed into houses and villages in Côte d'Ivoire, though thankfully no casualties were reported. On Tuesday, May 4th, the latest out-of-control Chinese rocket was orbiting Earth around once every 90 minutes at a speed of about 27,600 kilometers per hour and an altitude of more than 300 kilometers. The U.S. military has named it 2021-035B, and its path can be seen on websites that track objects in Earth's orbit. China has broken ground on a project that aims to put miles of solar panels in space and use them to power a massive microwave emitter that will hang 23,000 miles up in the sky. Here's hoping that the giant microwave beam does not go off target and start frying miles of Earth's surface. Here are the details. The Times reports that China's government plans to launch a fleet of mile-long solar panels into space by 2035 and beam the energy back to Earth. The basic concept involves a space station with a solar array to convert solar energy into electrical energy, then it would use the microwave transmitter or laser emitter to transmit the energy to a collector on Earth. The Earth-based station will then transfer the microwave energy back into electrical energy from where it would be fed into the grid. As part of this ambitious project, Beijing has broken ground on the new Bishan Space Solar Agency station in the city of Chongqing. The station will begin tests by the end of the year, with the hope of having a functioning 1 megawatt solar energy station by 2030. By 2050, China plans to have the station fully operational and producing a gigawatt of power, the same output as the largest nuclear reactor in China. Space-based solar systems can be much more efficient because it's always sunny in space, and the sunlight does not get filtered by Earth's atmosphere and clouds. The idea of space-based solar power stations has been around since 1941. Science fiction writer Isaac Asimov first wrote about them in the short story Reason. In the story, he wrote about a space station that transmits energy collected from the sun to various planets by using microwave beams. A number of concept designs were created in the 1970s, but none were deemed economically viable. While the world dreams about getting to Mars, China is targeting the moon for exploration. This means that the moon could soon be a source of conflict between Earth's superpowers because of possible future questions regarding who controls the mining rights to different parts of the moon. 
China's Space Administration, the CNSA, currently has a rover exploring the far side of the moon as part of its Chang'e 4 mission. It is also preparing to launch the Chang'e 5 mission this year to collect lunar samples and bring the samples back to Earth. The nation plans to add to its impressive list of lunar projects with a new set of missions to explore the moon's south pole. Chang'e 6, a backup mission for this year's sample return launch, is scheduled to head to the moon in 2023 or 2024. Chang'e 7 is scheduled to launch around 2024 with the dual aims of landing on the south pole of the moon and closely studying the region from orbit. The Chang'e 7 mission will be quite a complex mission featuring five different spacecraft. These five spacecraft would weigh 8.2 tons and would be thrusted into space by a Long March 5 rocket. The five spacecraft would be a mini flying craft, a surface rover, a lander, a relay satellite, and an orbiter. The orbiter would scan the south pole of the moon from orbit using sensitive measuring equipment. The lander and the rover would also feature such equipment. The mini flying craft would carry a water molecule analyzer to take measurements in permanently shadowed areas at the lunar south pole. Following this Chang'e 7 mission, the Chang'e 8 mission would be another lunar south pole landing mission planned for the late 2020s. That mission would include test technology for using local resources to manufacture objects by using 3D printers, according to Chinese press statements. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.